Uh, we're back from a uh, successful trip to Minnesota and a uh, good day back in practice today and uh, getting prep prepped up for our next game at Nebraska. Great. So it seems like it was your first complete performance of the season, including the game against San Diego and obviously against the best team you faced to this point. What changed from your vantage point? I don't know what changed. It's just getting some more games on our belt, you know, and we're challenging them every day in practice in the game. And as I said earlier, I, I challenge them for a complete game on Sunday, start the game, get that first goal, and then uh, put a complete second half together. And that's just uh, more games, more reps, leadership. Uh, our older group is taking control, and we were fortunate enough to go out there with a win. Do you think some of the adversity the team faced with the rain out against Iowa really helped galvanize the group and bring them together heading into Sunday? Yeah, I will say there's, there is something special in that locker room right now. You know, I don't know if it was that specific moment, but it's moments leading up to that that just continues to grow and fester in that locker room. Uh, they had to deal with it. You know, I'm, I'm a routine guy, and, you know, it was freshness or routine. And, you know, I was a little concerned that we didn't play Friday because we like rhythm and routine. And so uh, they handled that quite well, being a locker room eight and a half hours, you know, sitting there waiting and waiting to get a game. And uh, credit to our girls, they were loose. They had some fun um, throughout the day. And, uh, again, we took care of it on Sunday. What did you and your staff do just to get so instill some sort of movement in that after being in the locker room for eight hours on Friday once you finally got to leave? Well, we, went, we just went back and uh, had a little workout that evening at the hotel. And then uh, Saturday it was back to business. And uh, we had to change our prep work from Saturday to recovery to now uh, pre-game day mode for Sunday since we didn't play on Friday. So, uh, again, it's uh, routine for the staff. It's getting these girls to buy in and do it. And uh, there was no headaches. There was, there was no complaining. And uh, it showed on Sunday. This is the second game in a row now, too, where Ella really has not been shot on back and goal. Just work. How has this the, the team's defensive chemistry really evolved over these past few games? It's an experienced group back there. You've got a couple seniors, but then a lot of really talented freshmen. It is, but uh, our defense starts up top. I mean, it bounces out throughout the field, and uh, it's obviously it's nice to not have Ella involved as much. I mean, that's not going to happen all year, and uh, we know we have her backing in the back and going to make those big saves we need to, but off, off the cross of the back line, in their midfield and up front, everyone's doing their job defensively right now. Micaiah had that game-clinching goal as well against Minnesota on Sunday. What can you say about the job that she's done just immediately stepping in here as a really talented freshman? Well, she came from a great club, Rio, Colorado, and, and she's prepared to get here. And that didn't doubt me one minute that those guys are going to have her prepared. And, you know, you're four games, what are you, three games into your career, and this girl's played every minute so far. That's pretty impressive. At a center back position as a freshman. So, uh she was prepared. She's following suit and doing what we need her to do. And uh, what a great kid. And, and the sky's the limit for her right now. And last year, you were really winning games with your defense. Didn't give up a lot of goals. But now the offense is really hitting their stride, too. And you're able to build leads early on. Just, you know, what's the difference from last year versus this year now with a lot of these players developing their chemistry together, like Morgan and Elise and Maddie and then some talented younger kids as well? well. I think there's two sides of that. It's, uh, they, they've been together. They've been training together, working out longer. So the, the connection is clicking. But it's also the depth. So you, you can't just rely on us with just one or two players. I mean, we have, what, five or six different goal scorers right now that I think have scored. So, uh, you know, it's depth and it's also the uh, – um, the girls are just getting comfortable with each other, and Morgan and Elise have done their thing, but there's some young ones that are pushing the bill, too. I know you don't specifically look at the rankings that closely, but thinking about picking up a top 30, a win over a top 30 RPI team, probably going to climb a little bit higher in the polls, might be your highest ranking ever, depending on you know what that says. What does that just say about the evolution of this program, whereas you know, in the past you were learning how to win, but now this team is expecting to win in those big matches. Yeah, that's why I'm here, and that's why the girls we recruited. So that's the plan, the goal. To answer your question about the ranking, all we really care about is the RPI. That's the points that when that eventually gets going. Right now, it's you know, you get a big road win on the on the get a big win on the road against a power five team, power sixty five team. That's a good result. Other than that, rankings are rankings. Now we just going to keep plugging forward. Thinking ahead toward this week now, Nebraska, it doesn't matter what sport they're playing in Lincoln, they're always going to have a good home field advantage. What sort of environment are you expecting to see when you guys head out west? It'll be rowdy. They're a great team, well coached. Um, John has been a part of that program. He started the program, so he's been there forever. And he's a, he, you know, I really respect that guy as a coach and a person. So uh, it's going to be a battle. It's going to be rowdy. Uh, they have a unique style in how they play. I'm sure it'll be warm, but uh, we're up for the challenge. 
And last year, it seems like that 1-0 win over Nebraska, coming off that disappointing result at Santa Clara, really was like the first turning point for your team last year. What do you remember about Nebraska from that match, and what do you expect to hold steady from that performance last year? Very physical team that likes to counter, transition, they're athletic, they're mobile, they're going to run at you. Last year, we had some adversity going into the game. This year, we don't. So I'm, I'm anxious to see, now that you're on a different level, okay, how we respond to that last year was you know, it wasn't do or die it was early in the year but they responded now we go in with a different response a different attitude and i'm looking forward to the response you know switching gears now to finish this off the rain out with iowa it's tentatively scheduled to potentially be made up on november 4th when does that decision have to be made as to whether or not the two teams are going to play and whose decision is that going to be? Oh, it's just something we got to look at. We just got back now. The coaches, we, we shook hands and talked about it when we left. I mean, there's things that got to be contracts and all that ironed out. But right now, it, it's, on the, it's on the blocks. We'll see what happens when we move forward. We just haven't addressed that just yet. How do you think that might factor into your potential selection or seeding in the NCAA tournament? Well, you never know. I mean, you keep doing your job now, then uh, hopefully it's not something that comes down the wire. I mean, soccer is a funny game every year. Every team, for the most part, um, comes down to that last weekend. So uh, we'll just keep doing what we're doing now, and we'll see where this goes. You know, just to finish this off now, last question for you. You know, it wasn't what you wanted. You fly halfway across the country. You're expecting to play two matches. But, you know, given the result against Minnesota, it really showed, you know, some of the resiliency this team seems to be able to play with. And, you know, heading into a tough matchup, you know, this week with Nebraska, too, do you think that that washout is going to potentially might do more good for your team rather than, not good, I guess. I guess we'll find out. I know we're hungry. I know we're excited to play this Nebraska team. I know this team thrives on going on the road. You know, over the years, we've done well here on the road with this team. And uh, so, you know, it's routine. It's back to business. And uh, you, you can't look. It is what it is. Mother Nature took control of the game on Friday. So we had to go around it. We had to deal with it. We did. We responded well. All you can do is what's going to happen now. And we had one heck of a practice today. So I know I'm looking forward to it now.